Santa Monica is one of the most iconic beach cities in Los Angeles. And today we are going to be talking about why people love living here. Hi guys, my name is Mona and I'm a real estate agent here in Los Angeles. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the city of Santa Monica and what it's like to live here, including the pros, the cons, and the real estate market. But before we begin, I just want to say that this video is part of an ongoing series where I talk about different cities and neighborhoods in Los Angeles to give you guys an idea of what it's like to live here. Because I did grow up in Los Angeles and as a kid, whenever I would watch TV or movies, I really felt that the lifestyle in LA was inaccurately represented. So that's actually the goal here on my channel. I have a series where I do videos like this and in each video I talk about different cities and neighborhoods in Los Angeles to give you guys an idea of what it's like to live here. Because when we say Los Angeles is diverse, we're not just talking about the ethnicities of the people who live here. We're also talking about the fact that one city or neighborhood can offer you a completely different lifestyle and vibe compared to another city or neighborhood, even if they're both part of Los Angeles, LA County. This is a huge county. So that's why I do videos like this. So if you are interested in seeing more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe. And if you find this video to be helpful, please give it a huge thumbs up because I would really appreciate it. Now, let's get into the video. Now, starting off, Santa Monica is going to be located on the west side. So like I mentioned, LA is a huge county. There's so many cities and neighborhoods and cities like Santa Monica, West Hollywood and Beverly Hills, you know, all these mainstream cities, they are part of the west side. Santa Monica in particular is going to be a beach city and its neighbors with Brentwood, Pacific Palisades and Venice which each have their own appeal, even though they're right next to each other. I'm actually going to do separate videos on all three of these neighborhoods, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, Santa Monica in particular is a pretty big beach city. It's going to have a population of about 90,000 people, and it is a very diverse population. You are going to have everybody from young professionals like myself, as well as families and retirees because the Santa Monica lifestyle is really great for everyone. Now there is so much fun stuff to do here in Santa Monica, whether it's basic things like hanging out at the park or the local farmer's market. Of course, it's a beach city, so it's perfect if you just wanna hang out by the beach or if you wanna go bike riding, you can either rent a bike in Santa Monica or Venice and just bike along the beach. It's honestly such a great time. And me personally, I'm not a big biker. I won't even go on a Peloton, but it is definitely a great experience if you haven't done it before. Then you're going to have the iconic Santa Monica Pier, which is going to have a Ferris wheel, arcade games, and so much fun stuff to do. And then we're going to have downtown Santa Monica, which we're going to have all the shops and restaurants in this part of Santa Monica. This is really where all the action is and bonus points because it is super walkable, which I absolutely love. So you get to get your 10K steps in if you didn't do your bike riding for the day. And it's going to have an outdoor shopping mall called Third Street Promenade. This will have a really great selection of retailers, whether it's luxury stores like Louis Vuitton and Rolex or everyday retailers like Nordstrom's and Nike and Sephora. And you're going to have so many amazing restaurants in the Santa Monica area. Even if you are a really picky eater like me, maybe you're super health conscious, then you're going to have a lot of really great options here, whether it's a quick bite or a nice restaurant. There are two restaurants, rooftop restaurants that I really like because they have great views of the ocean. One is going to be Penthouse, which is going to have more of a sophisticated vibe. And then you're going to have Elefante, which is definitely going to have more of a young crowd. But both of these restaurants have really beautiful ocean views and they have a prefixed lunch menu during the weekdays, the three for 35, which I absolutely love. Although if you go to the Penthouse and you add on stuff like steak fries, it's gonna be a bit more, but it's definitely worth it. Cause I'm a big believer, you get what you pay for, right? And Santa Monica, just like a lot of cities in Los Angeles, is very health conscious. We have Erewhon here, and you also have Erewhon in Pacific Palisades and Venice, which are gonna be surrounding neighborhoods. 
You have a great selection of workout studios and gyms, like we have an Equinox here in Santa Monica. So whether you want to party and you want to go to all the fun lounges, bars, and restaurants, or you just want something more chill and low-key, maybe you're a health and wellness girly like me, this is going to be perfect for you and there is so much stuff to do for everybody. Now you may be surprised to hear this, but Santa Monica actually has some really top rated schools, whether it is public or private, it is going to be part of the Santa Monica and Malibu school district. Whether that is top rated elementary schools like Franklin Elementary, Canyon Elementary, Edison Elementary, as well as John Adams Middle School, Santa Monica High and Santa Monica Community College. Now let's talk about the neighborhoods here in Santa Monica. Some iconic mentions are going to be Ocean Park, which is mainly going to be condos and they are walking distance to the beach, which is really ideal. You also have North of Montana, which is going to be the most prestigious neighborhood in Santa Monica. It's a lot closer to the Pacific Palisades. It's going to be very residential and you're going to see the more expensive homes in this neighborhood. Then you are going to have Sunset Park, which is going to have a mixture of condos as well as single family homes and townhomes. And this is going to be a lot more family friendly. You're going to have the John Adams Middle School as well as Santa Monica Community College here. And you have some other neighborhoods in Santa Monica like Wilshire, Montana, Pico and Mid City. Now let's talk about the real estate market here in Santa Monica. More than 70% of the people who live here are actually going to be renters, whether they're renting an apartment or a home. However, Santa Monica is not the most residential city. Most of the homes on the market are going to be condos and townhomes. Actually, more than half of the homes on the market are going to be condos or townhomes. So it's definitely not going to be the most residential part of Los Angeles to live in. If you are looking for a more residential city or neighborhood, then you may want to branch off into Brentwood or Pacific Palisades, which are still going to be close by, so you'll still get to enjoy a lot of the same amenities, but you're going to have a better option for your house hunting if having a backyard is really important to you. Now let's talk about how much a home is going to cost you here in Santa Monica. Starting off with the condo market, the least expensive condo on the market right now is asking $590 for this studio. And the most expensive condo on the market is asking $12 million for this penthouse with the most incredible ocean views. Now, if you're wondering what's the difference between a condo and a penthouse, a condo is just going to be one unit on the floor. So there's going to be like five different units on a floor if it's going to be a condo and then a penthouse will take up the entire floor and they're typically going to be towards the top of a building so you can see a condo building where there's condos on the bottom and penthouses on the top now i know that's going to be a huge price gap however the average condo so far in santa monica has been selling for a million and four hundred twenty four thousand dollars now in terms of how much a single family home is going to cost Right now that I am filming this video, they are starting at $1.3 million for this beach bungalow that is walking distance to the beach. It's actually in Ocean Park as well. And the most expensive home on the market is this $60 million estate mega mansion that is located north of Montana. Now this home was actually featured on Buying Beverly Hills. They originally listed it for $90 million. And it's been on the market for almost three years now. And that's one thing about the luxury market. First of all, just because a home is asking for a certain amount of money doesn't mean it's gonna sell for that much, especially these incredible mega mansions, because let's be real, how many people can actually afford this home? And then how many of them are actively looking and how many of them actually wanna spend that kind of money on this home? Because it's a very unique property and it is not made for you know, a huge demographic of people. It's very niche specific for one particular person. Now this home is going to be very close to the iconic Pacific Palisades. It's really close to the Riviera Country Club, which is one of the most prestigious country clubs in Los Angeles which we will talk about when I upload my Palisades video, so make sure you subscribe for that. This home in particular, the primary suite is 2,500 square feet of interior space. I mean, can you believe that? It is one of the most incredible estates to hit the market. Now that we talked about all the fun stuff, let's talk about some of the downsides that come from living in Santa Monica. 
So number one, it is going to be crowded because it is extremely tourist friendly. I mean, Santa Monica is going to be one of the most iconic beach cities in Southern California, maybe even in America. I don't know if that's too much of a stretch, but I personally love Santa Monica. And I would say it's one of the nicest beach cities in America. So you're definitely going to have a lot of tourists and it can get pretty crowded. The next thing is going to be traffic and parking. Parking can be difficult throughout the entire LA area. However, one thing I do love about Santa Monica in particular is you have a lot of different parking structures in the downtown Santa Monica area. And the first 90 minutes are typically going to be free, at least whenever I go there and I park my car. And then in terms of traffic, I mean, you're gonna have traffic pretty much everywhere in LA. However, I will say that the west side of LA, which is where Santa Monica is located, is going to be a bit more congested, especially if you're gonna be commuting to areas like Beverly Hills and West Hollywood. It can get a bit hectic. However, that is to be said about a lot of these sought out cities and neighborhoods over on the west side because they're gonna be more popular. They're gonna attract a lot of tourists because there's so much fun stuff to do in these areas. And then lastly, you are going to have a homelessness problem, which you're going to have pretty much everywhere in Los Angeles. However, beach cities in particular, especially these tourist friendly beach cities like Santa Monica, are going to attract a lot of homeless people. Now, I heard a little rumor that the Santa Monica police pushes them out to Venice. I kind of believe that. However, it's just a rumor, just off the record, and I am uploading this on the internet for anybody to see. And then Santa Monica, just like a lot of parts of LA, can be expensive. Me personally, I don't like to say that something being expensive is a con. I mean, in this economy, breathing is expensive. And to say that it's expensive, I kind of feel that that goes without saying. I mean, it's Southern California, it's, it's LA. That's like me saying the weather here is great. It's like, yeah, I know that. Like the, the sky is blue, what else is new, right? Now to sum it up, me personally, I love Santa Monica. I think it is a great beach city. There is so much to do here. However, to each their own, this may or may not be the right place for you, depending on what it is that you are looking for. Me, myself, I am a local real estate agent in Los Angeles. So if you guys are thinking of moving out here and you're not sure what city or neighborhood is gonna be suitable for your lifestyle and your needs, then make sure you reach out to me. I do free one-on-one -on -one buyer consultations and they're all done online via Zoom. So if you guys are interested in learning more about the LA area, I'd love to offer my services to you as a local Los Angeles girly and real estate agent. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.